Over the last three nights, Fox 46 has given you an exclusive look into America's broken supply chain. A Monday, what led up to this breaking point? Tuesday, we dug deeper into transportation woes. Then on Wednesday, we showed you the impact to your wallet. And tonight, we're going to take a look at the future of the shipping industry. Chief Transportation Correspondent Hawker Vanguard and Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young wrap up our final team coverage of Broken Links, America's Supply Chain in Crisis. One person might only have a trucking division. Another person might only have warehousing. Another person might not have either, but they've got a truck. It's like a relay race, but instead of a baton, it's trucks, trains, and transport containers. A race against time and resources that over the span of two years fell off the tracks. You know, people have to realize that we ran out of a lot of stuff. Transportation proved to be the one thing during this pandemic we could all rely on to deliver health supplies, doctors, and the vaccine. What sometimes got left behind, trailer upon trailer of consumer goods. The truckers are a huge choke point, from what I understand. Tim Beck is a retired importer-exporter. He spent decades dealing directly with factories in China, arranging the transportation of bulk linens to the port of Long Beach, and then sending them to points onward. He says one of the ways to fix logistics issues facing our economy right now is to add capacity. They've got to get those containers in there and unloaded to get to the stores in order for them to have their holiday and fall season, which is 60 to not even 60, 70% of their total year's annual business. Here at the Savannah Port Mega Rail Facility, thousands of intermodal containers just like these ones are taken off of ships and placed on rail cars for distribution all over the country. These new nine rails of track means goods can get to you in as little as two days. Once the containers make it on the road, trucks hauling them are prone to break down now more than ever. Robert Kaiser, Vice President, Cordell Intermodal. Over 50% of our chassis fleet in the United States right now is 20 years old. And when you start thinking about an entire supply chain, a sophisticated supply chain that can come to a screeching halt because of one very simple piece of uh, equipment, it's quite alarming. Moms and dads are worried asking will there be enough food we can afford to buy for the holidays will we be able to get christmas presents to the kids on time and if so will they cost me an arm and a leg the white house stepping in to prevent a calamitous christmas recently imposing fines against major shippers at ports in los angeles and long beach 100 dollars per day levied against each container abandoned in Savannah, you won't find a graveyard of empty metal boxes. So that means all of the goods in these containers are ready for consumers to purchase, but doesn't mean that they'll be ready to go to store shelves. They know where the products are and they know, you know, how to best get them to uh, to the end point, whether that's the store shelf or uh, to the consumer's doorstep. Now some companies say the cost of freight could change the way they do business. Two years ago, a full 50-foot container cost $3,800 to send from Europe to the East Coast. Today, it's 10 times more, $38,000. The question now, who's going to pick up the difference? Do you think the pandemic will forever change this industry? Absolutely, absolutely. And this is a critical piece, not only to um, our national economy, but our national security. And we should be paying attention to our supply chain and our capability to move goods in, throughout our country the, the same way we would uh, put emphasis and focus on our, our military. Cause you got a Our journey from Savannah to Charlotte took us a few hours and a couple hundred miles. But the items you see inches from your fingers on a store shelf or computer screen take hundreds of hours of manpower that's held together by a fractured chain. We want to hear from you about your experiences dealing with product shortages and delivery delays. Follow the Broken Links tab on Fox46.com to tell us your story. I'm Taylor Young. And I'm Hawker Vanguard. Back to you. And don't forget, you can also head to fox46.com to catch our entire Broken Links series.